Okay, <clears throat> one more example with the, uh, the momentum principle. And this one's kind of cool. Not necessarily the best way to do it. I mean, there's, you're going to see there's lots of ways to approach a problem. <clears throat> Normally, if I, if I know something about the time, it's very simple. The, those problems with the robot, I was firing the uh, rocket for one second, two second. That's very appropriate for momentum principle. In the, in the dropping the ball, I knew the height. A little more work to find what I needed, but I could still do it. So this is one of those cases where we'll, later you'll see a better way to do it. Okay, <clears throat> this is actually something interesting and not the best way to do it, but in the movie Iron Man, um, Iron Man, Tony, Tony Stark, I, I hope I'm not spoiling stuff for you, but uh, it's from the comic books too, so it's official lore, so I'm not spoiling anything. So he builds a suit and... Uh, to escape his captors and it's got rockets on it and it kind of works and he, he shoots up really high in the air and then he falls down and crashes and makes a crater and so here's here he is and he's moving down and I'm just going to say uh, V equals negative 50 meters per second Y hat and he's going to hit the ground and when he does he makes a crater and so this is where he stops. Like that. And let's say this crater is um, a depth of D. And so, you know, you can imagine it probably maybe a meter. I don't know. But that's the distance over which he stops. <clears throat> so what I want to do is calculate the net force on Iron Man while he's stopping. Okay. So... If I want, I could draw a free body diagram for him. Let me, let me do it right here. Uh, I have gravity. And, but since he's moving down, I'm going to need a very large force pushing up. I'll call this Fn. From the, it's from the ground. And so the, but then we'll have a net force going up. Because his momentum was down, and then his momentum was zero. So the net force has to be this way. So I, I don't really need Fn. I'll show you that we'll, we'll get it in a way. But I'm, I'm just going to calculate the net force. F net delta P over delta T. Okay, and so he has a mass of something too. Let's say it's, well, he's got that suit on. Um, let me say 100 kilograms. Okay, so I'm just dealing with a one-dimensional problem here. So I could say F net Y is delta PY over delta T equals M times the final velocity in the Y direction is zero minus the initial velocity in the Y direction, which is negative 50. So I get... Um, I get that. That's going to be positive 50 over delta T. And again, we get the same problem, but I just don't know time. Okay. So here again, if I assume that it's a constant force, I could say V average Y Y over delta T. And that's also equal to V2Y plus V1Y over 2. So I can use this to get delta T. Okay, so my final velocity is zero. So, I, and my delta y, it goes from, let's call this y equals zero, to here, a negative d. I'll just write it out. It's going to be final of negative d minus zero over delta t. It has to be negative because he's moving down. And that's going to be negative 50 over 2. So delta t is going to be positive. Delta t is going to be uh, negative d over negative 50 times 2, so it's 25. Okay. <clears throat> so now I can just put that in here, and I'll, I'll get my net force. So let's put in everything we know. I have 100 kilograms. I have uh, 50 meters per second. And then delta t is going to be a, a d, which, let me say it's at 1 meter. And then I have multiplied by uh, 25 meters per second. I'm running out of room here. 
Okay. Now, I want to check the units. I get meters squared per second squared over meters, meters per second squared times kilogram does give me units of force. Okay, so, so let's see. I was going to do it in my head, but I don't want to make a mistake, and I'll just do it in the calculator real quick. Okay, so let's see. 100. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Uh, 125,000 newtons. And <clears throat> let's just compare that to the gravitational force on Iron Man, which would be uh, 980 newtons, right? This times 9.8. So mg is 980 newtons. No, 9,000. 9.8, that's right, 980 newtons. So if you wanted to calculate the force the Earth exerts on them during this time, you could ignore gravity if you wanted to um, because the other one's so much larger. Okay, but the, the, now if you want to search for this on my, on my website, I have a post about this where I look at this exact situation <clears throat> from a different standpoint. I use something else. But the end story is, the acceleration of Iron Man is so large, it doesn't matter if this, what the suit is, he's still going to be accelerating the same amount inside and he'd probably die. So, that'd be bad. Okay.